I'm sorry, I didn't realize that was first. I would be remiss in my responsibilities, amen, if I first do not acknowledge the victims and the families that died uh, in El Paso, Texas, and Dayton, Ohio. So for a moment of my time, amen, I'm going to have a moment of silence, and I ask that you join me in that. Is that all right? Amen. So let me just say this to you. The majority of the people in here know me, but I'm going to say this because I'm a spiritual leader. Donald Trump's rhetoric is getting people killed in America. Any candidate, any candidate across this country that accepts that rhetoric is not qualified to be in an office, whether it's mayor, governor, Senator, Congressman, or Representative. John F. Kennedy coined these words, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. This election is not about me. I'm not running for mayor. You are. What can you do with the city of Brockton in order for its greatness to be realized? What can you do? The mayor of this city has to reflect your values. Now, I've heard a lot of people talk about Mayor Carpenter, the beloved mayor that died. But let me say, tell you what he said to all of us that were in attendance. He said the next mayor of Brockton would be a person of color. If you believe that, you need to clap your hands. <laughs> let me be absolutely clear. Yeah, I, I, I have a, a platform. But 45 School Street belongs to the people of this city. It doesn't belong to outsiders. It doesn't belong to people that, 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 that might want some contracts. It belongs to each and every one of you. If you believe that, clap your hands. My job is to serve you. To serve you. Each and every one of you, regardless of your ethnic background, regardless of your race, regardless of your socioeconomic background, I'm trying to get elected to serve you. And this is what we're going to do. The Lopes case needs to be settled. We can't afford it if it goes further. If you believe we can do that, clap your hands. Uh, Y'all can do better than that. We're talking $20 million. If you believe we can do that, clap your hands. If you believe that we can do an office of professional integrity, we got all these federal lawsuits against the city of Brockton from employees. We need to investigate what's really going on behind the scenes in employment. If you believe we can do that, clap your hands. I know my time is, is near. If you believe in rent stabilization, that is, I want, to inter, uh, I want to institute mandatory inclusionary housing. That is, is that if you convert three family houses and one of them are going to be a condominium, one of those goes to low affordable rent. If you believe that, clap your hands. If you believe in city contracts, you, if you've crisscrossed the city, You've seen the public works, the, 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 the sidewalks are being done, the streets are being done, but I don't see people that look like me. If you believe the city contract should reflect the residents of this city, clap your hands. I'm not running for me. I'm running for you. God bless you.